When we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're going to make a shooter, it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Standing here today, I'm so proud and grateful to the amazing team at Embark Studios who helped make this crazy dream a reality. Well, I mean, to begin with, we, uh, we weren't going to make a shooter at Embark. Really? Yeah, so and I, I, I don't think that was really something that, you know, was spoken out loud. It was just sort of something everybody assumed that, no, we shouldn't do that because we did it before and whatever. And we actually had game jams and stuff pretty regularly at Embark early on, uh, where everybody kind of pitched ideas and stuff. And I pitched some ideas, and uh, among those ideas was the boring idea one and the boring idea two, and those were both shooters. And uh, so I called them that, obviously, because I didn't think anyone was interested in making them anyway. So, uh, but then, you know, we, we just got into a conversation around that and was like, Maybe we should actually give it a go. We sat down, a few of us, uh, and uh, basically said that if, if we're going to do it, uh, it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no one else is doing, really. Um, so that was kind of the starting point for the whole pitching process. So trying to put a concept together that we felt did something new, um, and that could be exciting to players. Personally, I, I love games that are systemic, where you know you put the control in the hands of the player, and they can kind of figure out how to solve, you know, whatever problems they you know need to solve, and uh, how that kind of creates these unique player stories that are you know yours because you did them, right? I think that's really powerful, and uh, so that that's a very strong influence for the whole game. That's one of the reasons why we have playstyle customization, and that's why we have environmental dynamism that we call it. Destruction is a part of that. Um, there are other aspects to it as well. Uh, basically, it's providing players with a sandbox where they can be creative and experiment and come up with their own ways to play. Basically, so that was that was like the guiding star, I guess. Um, and then a long period of prototyping and playtesting and trying to figure out how to make that formula work in practice. So, yeah. Okay, there's a new event coming up in the round for our contestants. Some contestants thrive under pressure. We're about to find out whether the last member of the First of all, like when I started, there was, um, you know, some, um, the pillars were there. We kind of know what we wanted to do with the, uh, with the game. Uh, and we had, you know, the visual, uh, the visuals or the art direction was there as well. One of the pillars that we wanted to know or that, you know, we wanted to base the maps out of real world uh, location or iconic places around the world. Um, so we were looking around a little bit and see what we, uh, you know, uh, an area that might fit with the, the game and the, uh, the destruction and the gameplay and uh, some visual iconic places. Um, so the first map we started with was Monaco because we thought that that one really uh, fit the kind of, you know, the, with the theme and and uh, the pillars that we had and it has a lot of, you know, very close quarter uh, combat, you know, with, uh, with the, all the interior spaces and the house. Um, so what we do normally is that we actually go and visit the place uh, that we want to that we want to build um, because you know that always gives so much more impressions and you you get to actually see the place and of course we're also using uh, photogrammetry uh, which is a, a workflow where you take a bunch of photos and then you can collect them in the computer and then from that you can either create textures or objects or assets um, uh, but then once we've been there of course you know uh, we're going through the whole blocking out the level, um, iterate on it together, you know, level designers. And we do a lot of play testing as well together with, you know, trying out the game modes early on, like how big does this map needs to be? Uh, and and then also we're trying to get the destruction in as early as possible. Of course, we can try the map with destruction. And uh, we're actually using structural integrity, which means that we more or less need to construct our buildings as they would work in real life. 
So we need to have, you know, supporting pillars and supporting beams uh, and uh, in order to, you know, just hold the building up. So and the same goes then for, you know, huge interior spaces. Uh, you need to have those, you know, pillars because without it, the, the building would just collapse. So, uh, and but we want to use that, you know, as a, a you know, feature in our game where if you were to destroy a pillar or if you were to destroy a beam, then, you know, you will see the kind of uh, the building starting to crumble and, and, you know, some parts of it starting to crumble as well. I guess, like, you know, after, after this thing comes out, what's life look like for, for you? I mean, we're, we're going into a live phase. It's like a new chapter, I guess. Um, so we're, we're going to keep on working on it and, you know, obviously uh, gathering lots of data and feedback on how players, you know, experience the game and, you know, what they like and what maybe they don't like and, you know, try and just sort of evolve it. This is not your first live service game, correct? That you personally worked on? I have, I mean, obviously the Battlefield games, they had some DLC and things, um, but I also worked on Battlefield Heroes, uh, which was a free to play game back okay. in the day. Yeah. So I have a very little experience with it, but mostly worked with uh, AAA classic sort of boxed products. One thing that's really important for us is to find that rhythm that works, that works for us as developers and that works for our players as well. Um, obviously, like we're on it for the long run, and we realize that you can't you can't grind and grind and grind. There needs to be, you know, a balance of it. So, and that's something that you know, we're gonna we're gonna focus on on finding uh, once we're live with this. So right now, obviously, you know, we're pushing to get it to get it out there and get it into the hands of players. But um, we're really, I mean, focused on on that aspect of making this something that is actually sustainable over the long term. So, to all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career. You're not just a part of this journey, you guide us and you inspire us, and I love you for that. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very end. It might be sooner than you think. Thank you and enjoy. Uh, how long ha have you known that you're going to be uh, showing this game at the Game Awards? I found out maybe one and a half months ago or something like two months ago, maybe. I was actually in a Slack channel, but I don't know if the other people in that Slack channel were really aware that I was in it. And there were some comments like, "Who who's going to present? Because it, you know, it's basically decided that we would do this sort of uh, sneaky launch on stage, basically. Uh, so like they were talking about who should do it, and it's like, I, re I really think, I mean, Gustav is the only one that should, you know, to, to do this for one team and uh, that should do it. Uh, and I was sort of freaking out at that point, like at my phone, it's like, oh my God. Um, so initially scared and, you know, a little stressed out over that, but also incredibly honored uh, to be the one that uh, gets to do this. I think, uh, yeah, it's, I feel like it's, it's not going to be just me up on stage, it's going to be the whole team. Uh, with me up there, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, you know, a great honor to, to do that. I, I think I expected to be a lot more nervous than I actually was when, yes. when I was there. Like when I was standing backstage, everybody was so nice, and I just felt like I was really well taken care of by everybody that was the show. So yeah. uh, once it was my turn to go out, I just, I don't know, found, found my scent. <laughs> it felt really good. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of weird. It's out now. Like you yeah. can literally play it right now. And like, I mean, I want to play it as well. I saw like some posts and stuff, but, but right now I'm just trying to enjoy the moment. And then eventually like tomorrow, I'll probably like scroll through and then just read through all the all the comments and stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of enjoy this, uh, this night.